I'm gallery interpreter Michelle Venegas, and today we're at the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California. It's the largest urban Ice Age fossil site anywhere in the world. Now you might have imagined that when paleontologists first found these fossils, they were like, whoa, how did these fossils get here? Well, after decades and decades of research, we've been able to answer that question and uncover the stories that these ancient fossils have to tell about what Los Angeles was like 11,000 to 55,000 years ago. But the story of the La Brea Tar Pits goes far beyond the Pleistocene Epoch. And if we go back far enough in geologic time, we find that the incredible fossils that we find here at the La Brea Tar Pits are here because of the unique geologic history of Southern California over the last 20 million years. Let's trace the story back in time. During the Ice Age, critters would find themselves stuck in these asphaltic seeps. Now the asphalt is very sticky, and when the animals would step in it, they would get stuck, they would eventually die, and their bones would become preserved. So why is there asphalt coming up out of the ground here? Well, the source of all of the asphalt is a large underground oil field called the Salt Lake Oil Field. The Los Angeles Basin is full of oil. In fact, it's the most productive oil field in the world by area, and it's the largest urban oil field in the world. So let's talk a little bit about how oil forms. To make oil, you need an ocean. More specifically, you need the phytoplankton that live in the ocean. And when phytoplankton die, they sink to the bottom of the sea and become buried in the sediment. Now if you take that sediment and you cook it under the right amounts of heat and pressure, all of that organic material becomes oil and gas. Now here in Southern California, the rock formation that holds the oil is called the Monterey Formation. And it looks a little something like this. So now we understand a little bit more about how these fossils got here. Let's talk about how those conditions were created by going back in time. So 18 million years ago, the Pacific Plate collided with the North American Plate for the first time and the San Andreas Fault was formed. Now we know the direction that the fault moves because it continues to move today. And when that movement started, a chunk of the North American Plate got caught in that movement and was rotated outward over the course of about 15 million years. Now when that happened, a huge ocean basin opened up and inside of that basin, diatoms lived, died, and became buried in the sediment. Over time, as the fault continued to move, that organic rich sediment got compressed and squished over everything else, cooking that organic material into oil and gas. So we're here today because of the fossils. The fossils are here because of the asphalt. The asphalt is here because of the oil. The oil is here because of the phytoplankton. The phytoplankton were here because of the ocean. And the ocean was here because of plate tectonics. By studying the geology, analyzing the rock structures, looking at the geologic formations, we can piece together the story of the La Brea Tar Pits and understand the role that plate tectonics has in shaping the world around us. I'm gallery interpreter Michelle Venegas. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today.